Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN's Acosta could lose everything. Caught on hot mic plotting to attack Trump. Jim Acosta's recklessness has finally come back to bite him. He was caught on a hot mic this week plotting to attack President Donald Trump, and now he stands to lose everything. As the world anxiously awaited the outcome of the historic North Korean peace summit in Singapore, CNN's Jim Acosta was busy planning how he could agitate President Donald Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un. A live stream of the summit broadcast on RT's YouTube channel Monday caught Acosta saying to co-workers, if they're not going to let me in the fucking meeting, then that's what happens. The audio begins after a group of reporters moves through a hallway to overlook a courtyard where Trump and Kim were strolling. An unknown individual working with Acosta asks, what did Trump say? He said excellent meeting so far, Acosta responds. On the recording, Acosta and his colleagues then replay audio of Acosta unprofessionally yelling questions at Trump and Kim as they left the historic meeting to move to another location. Mr. Kim, will you get rid of your nuclear weapons, sir? Mr. President, how's it going so far? He barked. As Acosta shouted at the world leaders engaged in delicate peace talks, other reporters displayed far more respect and decorum, merely snapping photos of Trump and Kim as they walked. Acosta, no stranger to making the story about himself, appeared to be the only journalist in Singapore disrespectful enough to interfere with the international negotiation. Then, on the hot mic, Acosta and two CNN reporters are heard talking about how they will continue to yell questions at Trump until they are allowed inside of the sensitive meeting. Hey, if they're not going to let me in the F-King meeting, then that's what happens, says Acosta. His colleagues agree, with one saying, that's right, and another chiming in, yeah, that's what I'd, that's what I'd shout to ask him. All day long, man. All day long, echoed another CNN reporter. It's certainly our right to ask him a question. If they don't want us in the meeting, then it's all day long. That's the way it goes, baby, an arrogant Jim Acosta responds. Acosta's reputation for boorish behavior precedes him. According to investigative journalist Laura Loomer, in April, at the White House Easter egg roll, Acosta shouted about DACA as President Trump was speaking to a group of children. In January of last year, he continually interrupted Trump as he was trying to answer questions in a briefing, prompting Trump to say, you are fake news. And, who can forget the time Acosta attempted to recite poetry during a White House press briefing. Following the fake news reporter's attempts to rattle sensitive diplomatic talks this week, a movement has rolled out online calling for the White House to revoke his press credentials. I usually give the press a wide berth because I believe strongly in freedom of the press but Acosta has definitely crossed the line, wrote social media user Kim Merrill. He obviously does not have the professionalism to handle the responsibility of a press pass. These are delicate negotiations that have worldwide ramifications. Ramifications that could literally affect people's lives, she added. He reminds me of the reporter in the movie Ace in the Hole where a reporter stalled a collapsed mine rescue in an effort to grab headlines. Only what Acosta did is much worse. Since he is incapable of understanding what kind of power the press has and how to handle that responsibility he should have his press pass revoked. Journalists should not be the news they report on the news. He doesn't seem to understand that. Indeed, Acosta's penchant for shamelessly trying to steal attention away from the actual news has earned him perhaps the worst reputation of all the mainstream media reporters covering the White House, and that's saying a lot, as these so-called journalists do very little legitimate reporting. Indeed, there is perhaps no one less deserving of a press pass than Jim Acosta. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.